Hello friends, uh, this is tutorial number 36 in this Turbo Pascal programming language tutorials. Okay. In this tutorial we will talk uh, uh, we will talk more about procedure. Okay, uh, procedure is very important for the rest of our course and we will practice it very well to you understand it good. Uh, to uh, it is better to you that you don't if you don't understand proce procedure well uh, you will have a problem with the uh, rest of the course okay and now uh, the okay uh, almost the same the same things that we that we did with function we will do with procedure same or similar but you will with this you will understand procedure very well okay and okay we want to create application we want to enter two numbers and we want to get uh, okay in function we uh, we calculating uh, a maximum number oh, and here okay of course we can calculate maximum number here but we will do vice versa we will looking for the minimum number okay and we will need two variables two global variables uh, variable x and y and we will need a minimum as a third variable and it will they will be uh, an integer okay and we need a procedure okay procedure uh, we need to give a name of the procedure okay it will be uh, it can be minimum number and uh, we need to uh, okay inside the procedure we will have uh, first two variables a and b which will be an integer and okay semicolon and we need to uh, we will have a third variable it will be returned and it will also be an integer okay and now we will need a begin and end of the procedure and we will uh, we will uh, we will need a begin and end of the application okay and i will type read line later i can forget and i don't like don't like to debug okay uh, let's define uh, uh, we have two variables let's define the third the returned variable inside this begin and end and how are we gonna do that okay we will simply write if a is a less lesser than than b then okay we will need begin and end begin and end okay if a is uh, lesser than b we will simply uh, uh, return will be uh, will be equals to a and we will have l statement l statement will also have begin begin and end L state and we will need because this is L statement and we'll we will we will have a semicolon. Okay. Uh, if uh, A is not is first condition is not true, uh, we will simply uh, re uh, return uh, will be equals to B. And we defined our procedure. Uh, minimum number. Okay. Uh, procedure is defined. And now uh, we uh, uh, we uh, can start with our application. Okay, first we will write write line enter the numbers. Okay, it will be x and y. Okay, and we will read the line that numbers are two variables x and y okay and we want to we want to okay we will write the these two variables right line and uh, we will write x equals and x 
Okay, and we will write uh, epsilon. Okay, epsilon equals, and we will need a variable epsilon. Okay, and now uh, we want, we will just, uh, uh, we define our procedure, minimum number, and we, we will simply call our procedure. Okay. Uh, as we can see, this uh, procedure minimum number has a three variables. Okay. And uh, these three uh, local variables, uh, instead of them, we will use pro uh, procedure minimum number. We will use for for uh, uh, with uh, our three global variables. Okay. We will call uh, procedure. Of a number uh, of a variables x, uh, epsilon, and minimum. Uh, automatically, minimum will become uh, this returned variable. Okay, and we will simply write line. Um, we will write uh, minimum. number is and we will write a minimum okay that's our application and we need to compile to see if our application is good it's not procedure okay my mistake uh, my mistake it's a minimum number sorry uh, minimum number uh, it's uh, uh, we call uh, our procedure minimum number okay sorry about this and uh, okay we use uh, we use that procedure with a minimum number with our three two variables okay here we have a defining a procedure of variables local variables a b and returned and we will use that procedure minimum number minimum number from our our three uh, uh, global variables x y and minimum okay and let's compile this okay everything is fine and let's run okay enter numbers x and y okay we will use numbers uh, 7 and 2 okay minimum number is 2 which is good and now uh, let's uh, let's try again uh, okay uh, let's use the numbers 23 and 25 okay minimum number is 23 and this works uh, perfectly as you can see uh, our uh, our application works fine uh, okay I, I really hope that you understand it we first we need uh, to give the name of the procedure uh, and we need uh, a procedure inside uh, we need to have a variables okay uh, we have a and b and we have a returned and uh, here inside begin and end we uh, we define our returned variable and we use that procedure which is minimum number uh, we use we call the procedure and we use our three global variables okay uh, I, I really hope uh, I uh, really hope that uh, that you that you uh, understand this. Of course, in the next tutorial, uh, we will use uh, we will use uh, uh, we will use we can use of course uh, uh, procedure we will have with uh, a four numbers and also we can uh, uh, we can use with uh, of course it can be the more numbers. Uh, I, I will do I will do the we will do a tutorial with uh, with uh, four numbers and uh, we will do also example with with uh, more with more numbers but uh, it will be uh, and with this you will be you will be well it is it will be good exercise to you okay and i really hope that you like this video if you like this video you can you can click on the like button also uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You have a link uh, in the, the, the description. And uh, I will see you in the next tutorial. And we will continue with our uh, 
uh, with our course. 